Hey everybody, it's B Diz the Rockstar, part of Super Obvious. In this video, we're talking about some updated news about the huge problem going on with Scream 7. Let's go. I'll be right back. Hello, Detective Ben. So in my previous video, I explained the problem we know about Melissa Barrera being fired from Scream 7 because of her social media posts. Also, that Jenna Ortega made her exit from Scream 7 as well. Whether it's to support Melissa not being in the movie, or just because Jenna is busy with other projects such as Beetlejuice or Wednesday isn't for sure yet, but either way, Jenna won't be in 7. I have another video talking about this more in detail, so check it out. So to take the news even further, it seems like more of the Scream cast won't be in the movie and that includes Mason Gooding and Jasmine Savoy Brown, aka the Meek Twins. Oh, fuck. They have seemed to unfollow the Paramount Studios that's creating Seven off their social media. Also, Hayden and Courtney, who play Kirby and Gale, have liked posts from Melissa on social media. So for Seven, it seems like the whole core four won't be in the movie that the last two movies just started building up for the franchise going forward. As far as Hayden and Courtney not being in Seven, this isn't confirmed at this point. But either way, if the whole core four isn't in Seven and the movie is going to be centered around Sydney and her family, and this is assuming Nev Campbell is down to even do the movie, especially since how the studio treated her, which is why she wasn't in Six, it kind of feels like they're going to have to do a reboot to make this work. I doubt they are going to retcon the last two movies, but if the last two movies were building up the core four, and for seven, none of them are in it, creative-wise, I think it's kind of tricky what creative direction they are going to go with the story. Characters such as Gale, Kirby, and Danny make more sense being around the core four, especially with a possible on-screen debut of Christina Carpenter, who is Sam and Tara's mom. But possible returning characters such as Jill, Stu, and a debut of his sister Leslie would go with Sid being the focus of Seven. So it's kind of a split character-wise. I have a video explaining the first part of the script for Scream 7 in detail in a previous video, so check it out. So what could happen is that the studio reaches out to Nev to replay the role of Sydney, and the story could be based around her and her family. If she refuses the role because of how she was treated before, in my opinion, there is no way for Scream 7 to happen. Rebooting the whole franchise and starting over is a huge gamble that I feel won't work. Especially since so many story elements have already developed and planted into the story, such as Sam seeing her dead dad Billy Loomis and her on the edge of turning full psycho, and us not knowing if this will be for her to protect her friends or for her to turn full villain. We have the relationship with Chad and Tara becoming official, also the relationship with Sam and Danny. In my opinion, a reboot would feel jarring and forced, especially when the public knows the truth of why this is happening and adding a line in seven like, oh, the core four moved to another college out of state. That would be just terrible. The public will go out of their way to not support a project if they know the truth of the circumstances behind the scenes in real life. I think if this keeps going and Nev doesn't want to return to the Scream franchise, the studios could get to a point where they have to make a public apology to Melissa, rehire her back into the franchise, and then all the other members of the core four will return and the story can continue with them without the studios having to go out of their way to do all this recasting, rewriting, and having to start over when the franchise is already being very, very successful. But this depends on how stubborn the studios are. Just admit that firing Melissa for speaking her mind wasn't the right thing to do. Scream 2022 made about 139 million and Scream 6 made 169 million. Combined, that's 308 million dollars. That's over a quarter of a billion with a B, a billion dollars in just two movies. And if they keep the story going with everything from the last two movies in Seven, Scream 7 will probably make more than Scream 6 did. Are the studios really willing to risk ruining all their momentum and losing out on all this money to try and prove a point with firing Melissa? As you know, when you're famous, all it takes is for you to post one thing talking about a sensitive enough subject and if people feel you're being cruel or just saying anything that is the opposite of how they feel, people can turn on you and your career could take a huge hit that you may never be able to come back from. Is it possible that even if Melissa is able to return for Scream 7, will her presence in the movie taint 7 because of the people who are completely against what Melissa posted online? Possibly. 
but I feel the amount of people that will be supportive of Melissa returning since she is the heart of the franchise going forward will be way more supportive, especially with all the other core four members returning so we can continue the story that we all want to see. Plus, it had been said that Scream 7 was going to be the last movie in the franchise. I feel the core four in 7 is the way to go for sure. Either way, they need to keep the late great Wes Craven in mind and present us with something that would make him proud if he was still here. But yeah, that's the video. Let me know in the comments if you think Scream 7 can happen without the core 4. Do you think Sid making a return can save the movie? Or would you almost consider that a step back since the core 4 has been the focus of the last two movies? Like and share the video, subscribe, tell other Scream fans to support the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Totally for sure.